Hello and welcome back to our Roaming Romans campaign in Imperator Rome with the Livy patch. So I've been looking around the map just a little bit, seeing where I can possibly hope to expand to. Um, Boy really has to be the target. The problem being is they're allied with Carthage, but I could attack Decatea. However, hang on, not you, Decatea are also allied with Carthage. But there is one more thing. What is this? Lingonia and Boy are in a defensive league, so I can attack Lingonia. However, I've got a truce with them for another two years. That's fine. That's okay. Because that's the plan. We're going to be attacking Lingonia in two years' time. Uh, there's going to be a war between, you know, myself, Boy Lingonia in Subria, and also uh, Desiatia, which is probably how that's pronounced. I'm going to go with that pronunciation anyway. Uh, so that's going to be really good, unless Lingonia also happens to ally Carthage, then we're going to be in the clear on that, because I need I need Ancona to not be a part of this, this thing here. Uh, one thing that has been pointed out uh, in the patch notes that came out, as I record this, it came out today, uh, that I've not actually seen before, and that is this, demand subject transfer. If the subject is disloyal, and you have enough of a, you know, bonus to, uh, you know, all the, the positive stuff, then you can potentially demand that a subject be transferred from one party to another. The only uh, way I've seen of actually doing this, I actually did it one time, was Makedon, my Makedon campaign, there was only Andros left before I got the achievement for uh, taking all of Greece as Makedon, and Andros were a part of Egypt sphere, sphere of influence. So what I did was to get them disloyal, I fed Egypt most of Phrygia. Um, that put their aggressive expansion massively high, uh, which then made Andros disloyal and I was able to snag them. And that was pretty good going, I think. Quite a, a smart way of doing things. Anyway, that out of the way, let's unpause and have a look more thoroughly at the things that I need to look at, and that is, firstly, missions. I finished Italian Colonnea. So, the reward, I get to pick one of four specializations for the Roman Colonnea modifier, and I get two free province investments as well. Hmm, I wonder what these one of four is. Let's have a look. Here we go. With the growing importance of the Colonnea as bastions of Roman culture and administration, we must decide what sort of cities we want them to be. Is civic organization the most important objective, or securing a steady stream of recruits? Is the key to greatness the integration of the conquered, or encouraging trade and production? Who knows? So, they shall provide the core of our new recruits, gives me local manpower, plus 10% core recruit speed, uh, 5 support for the military faction, and all Roman Colonnea. Oh yeah, all Roman colony get those benefits. All right, next one. The colony will reflect the greatness of Rome, giving me city building slots and taxes in the colony. That is these cities that I set up every every time I uh, took a region. Trade will be organized around these provincial centers, giving me commerce value and fewer slaves needed for local surplus. Or their purpose will be to Romanize the locals, giving pop assimilation speed and primary culture happiness. And I'm kind of thinking that their purpose should be to Romanize the locals. Um, that just seems smart to me, especially considering that the Roman Colonnea, uh, let's use this one as an example, are getting an awful lot of pop migration. You can see here all the incoming migrants, and look how far away they are coming from. This is a new feature in uh, Livy, where you can see where people are coming from. And like they're coming from all over the place, Arminium, all the way down uh, to Hydruntum. You can see this for a bunch of places. Another colony that I have is Cusay, and that is being fed from a lot of places as well. I mean, look at that, that's just beautiful. I love this. They're even coming from Boy, which is fun. It is an Etrurian uh, citizen will have migrated to Cusay from my enemy. That's fantastic. Uh, some other colonies that I have. I think you were one? No, you weren't. Were you? Plestia, maybe? No. Ravenna? No. 
maybe you were one? No, maybe you? I don't know. Uh, Rome itself is actually not not importing any citizens whatsoever. It, they're migrating out of Rome. And I think that is because of the migration attraction. Nine is not bad. Nine is generally pretty good. But these colonies, 21 because of, I mean, a bunch of region, uh, Roman colony goes plus one uh, available population capacity being plus 11 and a half percent. So cause Carse can fit another shit ton of people, whereas Rome cannot. So there we go. Uh, so yes, we're going to be uh, Romanizing the locals, pop assimilation plus one and primary culture happiness plus 10 percent. Fantastic. I love it. That also gives me access to a final mission. I can choose between Roman hegemony and Italic citizenship. So let's have a look at Roman hegemony first. Um, rewards for this would be I'd gain 5 popularity. We get wrong culture happiness negative 15%. Primary culture happiness plus 15%. Integration speed would go down and I would lose 10 stability. But every Roman character would gain 10 loyalty. If I choose the opposite, Italic citizenship... I lose 10 popularity, wrong culture happiness goes up by 15%, primary culture happiness goes down by 15%, integration speed increases and I lose 30 stability, and every Roman character will lose 10 loyalty. All my italic subjects would gain 50 opinion of me though. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually, when I've got the points, stab a pig, or maybe we've already stabbed a pig, so perhaps we'll wait until this goes up to perhaps 55 and then we're going to do this mission. Um, I still want to do Adriatic Opportunities though, because I want Ancona as a subject. Alright, so, that's actually, if Ancona might become our subject, I would like to improve opinion with him as well. Again, I just don't have the political influence, I guess we had an event that dropped that down. My console is giving me negative 0.25. That's fucking awful. Is that because of your faction? Why are you giving me negative 0.25? Um, I think it might just be because he's part of the populist faction, right? When the populists are in power... Where do you even see that? There you go. Monthly political influence, negative 33%. Fuck the populists. I want this guy in charge. When's the next uh, election? Too bloody far away. That's annoying. That is very annoying. Ooh, so is this pirate fleet. Let's take our own ships and stop them. Because I do not want to be... God damn it, why was I in the wrong tactic? Um, yeah, I don't want all of my little one-stack ships being sniped. That would suck real hard. Also, can I see the battle, please? 64 versus 26. Hopefully we don't get any lot. Ah, oh, we lost a bunch there. We are. We did win, though. We lost 14 ships. Fuck me. But they're only retreating here, so I think we'll be able to get some of those back. Alright, we lost a ship. God fucking damn it. Uh, but we gained five ships back. Up to 57, or I guess down to 57. We had more than that. I guess probably because you're not a very good commander when we're up against pirates with really high leadership. Yeah, painful. Alright, so you are losing loyalty. There's not much I can do about that. You're the party leader of the populists, which I am also a populist right now. You're also losing loyalty, but it's not going up or down. So if I give you a holding then that will sort you right out. You're up to 55 now, fantastic. Yeah, that was annoying that I lost that fleet. Well, I didn't lose the battle. But I lost so many bloody ships in it. That's irritating. Shame of a governor will just demand a payment to the territory. And the navy has lost its commander. All right, so I need a new guy. Uh, I guess we could go with uh, Mr. Violens here. Oh wow, you are really, really good. 8-8-10-8, you would make a fantastic console. Hmm. I am going to go with the next best. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with Quintus Marcius Philippus. 
he's not a member of a party, or sorry, a, um, he's not a Semperonii, uh, so that'll be perfectly fine. We'll go with you. The Semperonii already have too many jobs, so I'm going to go with someone a little bit weaker, or not as prominent, let's say. Might be the best way to, way to put it. Alright, so we've still got a couple of years, one year until we can go to war with Lingonia. They haven't got any new allies yet, and I kind of need some more people to join the war. So, have you got money? You do. Hold me some games in Rome, please. I mean, we're not getting to 80. That's for damn sure. Uh, my army here as well, I'm going to put it up to 30 stack by just adding a couple more supply trains. That means we're going to have 10 support for the populace. Fuck that. No, 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 no. I would rather take the pain. Yeah. Four supply trains, meaning we will be able to siege for longer. Uh, the leader of the populace is dead. Who is the new leader of the populace? Is it me? It is me. Still don't like that. Actually, me being consul is still giving negative 0.25. And that's not including the populist faction bullshit. Why? Where can I see the reason for that? I have no idea. That's a pain in the butt, though. Alright, new invention. Sapping would be fantastic. I love me some sapping. Army weight modifier, also really handy. Wrong culture happiness. Fuck, that would be really good. Slave output, more money. I love it. Uh, there's a lot of things here that I want. Monthly po uh, ruler popularity gain would be fantastic. And wrong culture group happiness will be useful for when we go into the Lepontic area here. Hmm. God, there's so many things I really want. Uh, firstly, we're going to go with slave output for more money. So, 824 changes into... 979. That was a good choice. Probably should lower my army maintenance as well, to be honest. Until we go to war. Our truce is up in April. Alright, so if I attack you, Delcatia, Boy, and Insubria. Mm. Desiatia, sorry. Uh, you've got six troops only. Insubria has 18. Boy has 17. Lingonia has 10. My armies are stronger than theirs, though, so I'm not too worried. These are mercenaries. Lingonia's army is right there. I would love to crush that at the very beginning of the war. We're going to get your fleet to dock up in Kusei. He's building ships. How many ships have you got? Only five. Okay. Hey, Ancona, do you want to uh, improve opinion? There you go. So, army's moving in. We've uh, The truce is now over. We'll be able to crush this very, very quickly. Level 11 general, really nice to see. And uh, I guess... Just gonna have to take the uh, stability hit. Not the stability hit. War without CB. No, 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 no. Fuck you. God damn it. All right. Well, well, that's bollocks my plan up. Back to Vey. Just so I don't take uh, too much food out of the north. All right. We'll go back to Vey. That's unfortunate. I completely forgot about that. Um, opportunistic patronage, languishing in debt, senator. Sorry, Surter. Cornelius Scipio has turned to the wily Publius Sempronius Saviero, speaker of the military faction, hoping they will offer assistance. Ever the opportunist, Publius has offered monetary aid in return for the continued loyalties of Surter. Um, it may be expensive, but now is our only chance to step, step in. So if I don't do anything, then Cornelia I just lose some prestige, and Surter gets conviction for the military faction. I don't see any problem with this. Or we can offer him the money and he will become more populist. Well, we will, of course, let him sell his soul. Isis is bringing spread. Um, no. I'm going to be very, very unpopular as a ruler. As long as I can still declare war, I don't care. 
Spoken like a true populist, really, isn't it? Alright. No, 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 no. You cannot pirate me. You bastard, come back here. And it, again, I choose the wrong bloody thing. They, the pirates always use frontal assault, so I need to make sure that I have something that fights frontal assault, and that the only thing that I've got with that is close ranks. So let's switch to close ranks. I do not want to fight at level 15. Maybe I do. Yeah, let's give him a shot. Close ranks uh, is good. But four levels of marshal above me. They lost 26 ships, though. And I gained them. Alright, so I can import some more things into Rome. But no one wants to trade with me because everyone is a bastard. We got two provinces that are disloyal. That's not good either. Yeah, you're converting nobody because it's all disloyal. So how about we do some harsh treatment there? And I assume this is the other one. What's the other one? Emilia. Yeah, I've only got two bloody provinces here. Who cares? Harsh treatment there. It's not it's not going to get rid of it, but it will stop it from going down quite so fast. Like everyone wants to trade from me, but nobody wants to trade to me. And I guess this is coming from Emilia or Ferrari. Yes. All right, you can have the food for now, but it's not going to last. I'm, I'm going to have it back. Rome does need more food. Thing is, the armies, yes, they are in territory that they can sit in without problems, but they still need feeding. The army still uses food every single month. And, the, I mean, yeah, from units in the province, 5.9. If the army wasn't here, then Rome would be fine. That's just something to, to keep into account. All right. When's the claim done? Claims have been increased in speed, so they don't take nearly as long. Um, Marcia is almost um, taken as well, or integrated. So is Pelagonia. Uh, that is you and you, almost integrated. Um, you still don't get any troops from integrations as far as I can tell. Uh, Marcia has been integrated, so we could take in Mr. Sextius or Mr. Tiberius Symproni. Oh, more Symproni. Are you a Sem You are a Symproni. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if you would join the, uh, the that family. I don't know. Um, but no one's really that good. I might take. I don't think I want to take anyone, to be honest. Yeah, no, I'm not going to take any of them. They all die. 61 on Lingonia. Yeah, plus 4.39 per month. And Peregrinia has also been integrated. You're terrible. You're terrible. You're not bad. Oh, 96 statesmanship, though. I've got to take someone with 96 statesmanship. Especially these 8 in the religious matters. If we have a look at our offices, you would be very good as an auger. You'd be better off down here as my Freeman Happiness guy. All right, we're gonna give uh, the Viridius guy some uh, well that chance to be a part of us. All right. You are inside us, good. Right, and now what we're going to do is go to my offices. My new auger is going to be Mr. Viridius. And then my new um, Tribunus of the Plebs is going to be Cornelius Scipio. And that works out just fine. Now we're up to six statementship on you. Now if I swap you out, I could put Decius Nigidius here. You do have... Um, about equal amounts of uh, statesmanship, but you've got higher tech. Sorry, higher stat. I'm going to leave it. Um, I don't need another populist in charge. I'm quite happy with uh, with how this is, actually. Uh, looking at my government at the moment, it's, it's going to be the mercantile faction that takes over on the next uh, election. I want to say just as long as it's not the bloody populist, I don't care. All right. I keep pausing, that's why this is taking longer. Will anyone trade with me? 
<gasps> I can get some wood. I can get some wine and olives and base metals. All right, what do I want? Base metals is now Freeman output, which would be good. Olives would be slave happiness. Wine would be Freeman happiness. I mean, I've got a pretty equal balance of Freeman citizens and slaves. First would be starting experience. I don't care about that. Freeman happiness plus five. Freeman output plus five. Or slave happiness plus ten. I'm going to go with slave happiness, actually. From Etruria. Mm-hmm. Then Etruria can import base metals from Tuskia. And then Tuskia can import some wood from Pisinium. And then Pisinium can not do anything. Uh, but you, Arminium, can import some wine from Aeternum. And Aeternum can import some cloth. No, from not from Latium, because if I import the cloth, I lose my bonus. So, maybe not. Anything else though? Furs from Eternum. And then and then over here we've got some iron. But I don't want to lose the bonus, so never mind. Alright, that's good. That's good. I'm happy with that. Oh man, well it seems the, uh, the war is actually going to come in the next episode, because for right now I do need to take a short break here. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.